Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We decided to um, yeah. take our talents to a new to, location, man. We have take take your talents south. Yeah, make make sure it's far enough away Damn. where if you came, you was coming here on purpose. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. Because this ain't no way you just pop up. Destination. Yeah. yeah. So if somebody be like, man, I was just in the neighborhood, be like, nah, you was nigga. black. You ain't no way you was in this neighborhood. Yeah, you went down four, four one-way roads to get here. Exactly. Yeah. That's how we know. Make right. people move with intentions and purpose. J-O-N, bro, we don't have, we don't have no um, whole bunch of leisure, man. Look at all these people in here. We got to get right down to business. You're right, bro. It's time to get serious, man. You've been playing all day. You out here thinking that it's a game, and these people really want to see what's going on in the black market. What's going on in the black market? I've been calling all around the city trying to get in touch with people that know how to get in touch with certain people, mm -hmm. that know the right people, mm -hmm. who can put me in touch with certain people <laughs> so I can be talking to the right folks. For sure. This ain't easy. Mm -hmm. Me and my team and my staff, we have exhausted all our resources. But you know what? I got another resource who keep me in the loop of everything musically going on. Mm -hmm. And you know him, my partner New Face. Cause New Face be everywhere. everywhere. And he, all, he know all about the music festivals, who gonna be where, at what time, who performing mm -hmm. with the original tickets. He still print his tickets out. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gonna keep them. Right. That's how he living. For sure. But I had to reach out and make sure that, you know, we get this man right here on the black market because he's doing some amazing things out here on the scene. None other than Jay Carter. Okay. I appreciate it. So, so what's, what's the word? What's the play? Man, all, hey, life is good, man. All is well. I appreciate you having me. Look, I got all my notes. I, I see that, man. I'm, I'm so I professional. I thought y'all was just really just talking. No, you see that's what she was like. I, I see didn't know that was the intro. Yeah. We yeah. ain't up here just making up shit. I'm trying to I'm a pro professionalism. There you go. Yeah, it got all kind of accolades and highlights, sponsorships. I know everything. I'm just seeing how much you're gonna tell me before I gotta ask all this shit. <laughs> just let you know we got them good Apple computers. Yeah. They refurbished, but they knew. And the, they came in a box. They refurbished. That yeah. means somebody bought them and didn't use them. <laughs> now, what's been going on, G? Man, I mean, right now we're in the thick of it, man. So we, uh, we're we planning for our 14th. It's our 14th festival. OK. Yeah, 14th year, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, see, you got to introduce that. When you say festival, what festival are you talking about? Well, One Music Fest. Ooh. So yeah, so One Music Fest. Uh, the uh, we, we we launched it back in 2010. Okay. That was before, you know, festivals was like the cool thing, right? Yeah. So, um, so I used to have a uh, I still have a brand brand marketing company, and uh, back in the day I had a live music venue and a and a club as well. Always was in love with with live music, and uh, and honestly, probably around 2007 2008, you know, after hitting a couple of of, of, of lesser hue festivals, your, your Lollapaloozas, your, your, your Bonnaroos. Um, you just realize that that kind of experience was not available to us, folks mm -hmm. that look like us. Like, they'll put our talent up on a stage, but the crowd ain't look like the talent that was on the stage. Um, so really just around, took a couple of years to really just kind of figure out why there were no open air, multi-stage, multi-generational, multi-genre black festivals? Couldn't find them. So, uh, so yeah, just decided to kind of join forces with my with my folks and and created it, man. So we launched it back in 2010, and I've uh, been doubling the size ever since. Mm. Yeah, man. 
One Music Fest. One Music Fest, yeah, man. Who was who was the first headliner y'all had out there? Common. We had Common. So it was Common, uh, De La Soul. It was small. It was, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was intimate. Yeah. Right? It was like almost like a block party. A uh, bunch of different DJs, uh, Greg Street and Kenny Burns were the host. Yeah, so it was a, it was, it was a fun, big ass block party. Yeah. Now it's then got two. Yeah, he's nice. taking up the whole block. Yeah, we had Piedmont Park. Uh, and for those that, because you know, you worldwide, you know, people yeah. looking at make, this. Make, and, let them you know. know. What I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So yes. Pied, yeah. So Piedmont Park. If, if you're familiar with New York, it's, it's Piedmont Park is our central park. Yeah, most definitely. You know what I mean? So uh, to have a black hip hop festival in Piedmont Park is actually a big deal. It it, and never, it's so fitting though yeah. in Atlanta because you just ride and you hear that. that is that Frankie Beverly? Right, right. <laughs> Yeah, Jill Scott coming on that phone. Shut up, nigga, park right. this motherfucker. Right. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, man. I yeah. love it though, man, because you you like this, you had a lot of great artists come through there, and the, the variety of yeah. people that you could see at the One Music Fest. I mean, back in uh, in '16, it was Outkast's last performance. Yeah. It was at One Music Fest. Yep. Um, we didn't realize it was gonna be their last performance, but. But yeah, but it ended up being the last performance. One of DMX's last performances was at One Music Fest. Um, Young Dolph. So yeah, man. I mean, this year the the, the lineup is crazy. It's uh, it's Kendrick Lamar, um, Janet Jackson, Megan Thee Stallion, Brent Fires, uh, Bryson Tiller, uh, Nelly, Coy Ray, Thames. Yes, yeah, it's, it's 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 gonna be bonkers, man. Mm. So we're talking about even having y'all set up a a section somewhere. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And getting some content, doing some interviews. Man. I need that. I need all that. Yeah. yeah. I need all that. There's a few people I need to holler at yeah. that you named over there. And um, yeah, give me a whole media pass. I'm going to have my notes. All that. We love that. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll wrap. Okay. That needs to happen though. It only makes sense. Only. Yeah. yeah. Stage five, I need right? I need me a spot the tailgate. I need a. <laughs> I'm saying I need a home base where I can dip back and grab a burger off the grill too, and still have my seat. Right. And I'll, I'll, we'll we'll talk logistics later on. Well, that's 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 a the young lady right there, the beautiful young lady right there. Oh, she Thank already you. know then. Yeah. She, yeah. I I feel that's like true. she understands. Yeah. Yeah. Cause soon as she walked in, she said, "Hey, baby!" I, and she dis <laughs> whatever I had, she disarmed me right then. I'm like, "Oh, that's yeah. you okay? Yeah." Okay, so come get this hug. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely. So, where, where you taking it to next? Like, what's the next play? So, I mean, it's funny you ask, man. We um, so we're actually going to expand to Dallas uh, next year, Memorial Day. Yeah. So, come to find out, there's really not a whole lot of activity like that either in the Southwest. Okay. Um, and they have a huge, huge urban population. Uh, we have some strong relationships in, in the Houston, Dallas area. That's what um, I'm saying. If you're going to take it to Dallas, you you got to go to Houston. It's like right there. It's right there. Right. Yeah, so, and then it's just like, hey, you know they got money in Houston. Yeah, that, yeah. That One thing about people in Texas, they got a lot of money. Real and money. they don't mind spending it because real, real ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's long. So, um, yeah, man, it's just a, it's just a, an overlooked market, man. So uh, we, we locked down the location. And uh, so uh, Memorial Day next year, we're going to bring one music fest out there. Man, that's hard. Yeah, bro. Make sure I get it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever you need, brother. Okay. Yeah, we're going to take care of you. Yeah, and your team. all of that, man, because, you know, we're building the brand over here. We're going to have to take it to a whole nother level. We're going to have to send some of our um, on the streets reporters. We got staff and all that already in place. DC, DC jumped on stage back in, uh, was it 21 or 19? I mean, he just took over. You know, Tig was on stage hosting and DC just grabbed his mic and yeah, he took over. By and that's exactly minutes. how it's supposed to be. That's right. That's yeah, right. that's exactly. That's how yeah. it's supposed to be. He's supposed to be able to jump on stage and take over and introduce the artist and then he'd be like, DC does. No, he, he is taking over, literally. <laughs> Yeah, that's the type of freedom we need when we come to the One Music Fest. <laughs> that's all right, though. 
Yeah. But keep that going, man, and I'm glad you stopped through here to promote it and let people know where they can get their early tickets, make their reservations, and VIP. Yeah. Where can they go and, and do all that? The, uh, the website is uh, onemusicfest.com. Um, we have sold out of VIP completely. Come on. So, yeah, yeah I know. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what I'm tripping about. I mean, I know the lady. You know, man. <laughs> so, Dan, what's left? Uh, we got we got a few GA and a few regular IP full. It's regular IP. The uh, it's getting there, but um, but the date is October 28th and 29th. So right. That's before sweater I'm weather. Hoodie weather. Yeah, yeah and they gonna be wearing with them motherfucking sweater on, <laughs> turtlenecks. All the all the motherfucking sugar daddies gonna bring them turtlenecks out. So, weather should be right, though, man. You know, I mean, we used to do it in the, the middle of summer. It yeah. was hot as shit. People passing out. No, nah, we don't want that. Nah, nah, nah. We said, yeah, but we tropical people, but, you know, but we want to take it down a notch. We don't be out there for a whole weekend. Yeah. yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, onemusicfest.com. Still a few tickets left. Um, so, yeah, so so if you're thinking about it, don't think too long. Grab those tickets while, while you still can. Damn, VIP and the Platinum tickets sold out. Everything's sold out, bro. Y'all got some single-day tickets coming up, though. We do. Lil Birdie told you that, man. Yeah, yeah I, got, I yeah. told you. You got the insight. You got the insight. I, yeah. I know that lady. Yeah. She was making me privy to all information. Yeah. Anything else you want to leave the people with before we... Uh, because uh, I know you got festivals to plan. And... Yeah, we got a few things we're planning. But, uh, but yeah, this is, uh, I think the biggest thing is, yeah, don't, don't, don't hesitate and, and definitely grab those tickets if you are considering going. Um, Who be keeping you in the loop with the new shit? As far as music? Yeah. I mean, we got a pretty creative team around us, man. I'm saying, who, so, yeah. who be bringing you shit? Be like, oh, listen to this. New shit? New shit. The new shit. Uh, I think it's not one person, but uh, why are you about this new face? Nah, I'm just asking. Yeah. Man. You just, I need to know this type of shit because as the young nigga, they, that's their responsibility. Yeah. All the young guys that's around that's us, real. they supposed to be bringing us this. They supposed to filter out all the shit they know we won't listen to. That's right. So we'll be, you know, privy to what's going on in these streets. Yeah, well, one, one of our interns over there, Alex, he's got a pretty good ear for music, man. Really? So he made some recommendations. Okay. Uh, he got an old soul though. I don't know, listen to everything from goddamn shit, uh, the, the 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 classics to Minnie Rippleton to you know all the new shit. So. Right. But um. But yeah, I think that 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 also helps. You know, we typically keep a a good amount of of young interns around, um, and some of the stuff that they recommend, you know, you'd be like, "Nigga, that's trash." Now I don't want to hear none of that. And you some can't of the stuff say they recommend, you can't good. say that. Well, yes, you can. But some of it, you know, come on now. That's how they know the shit good. I took this shit to Unc. He said trash. <laughs> so I know this shit finna go, Turn bro. <laughs> We finna crank, now we finna put numbers behind this motherfucker. <laughs> this the next one to blow. How you know that? Cause the old niggas ain't fucking with it. <laughs> they don't like this shit. <laughs> but yeah, young folks, man, they keep their ears to the street, man. But yeah. uh, we try to more so look at artists that, that feel timeless. You know what I mean? Like there's some young artists that's on the bill, but you know, they're not one hit wonders. You know, like, like Key Glock is a more of a younger, Kind of a young artist, man, but you know, I think I think he has solid flowing material. Right. You know, um, even some of the R&B acts, you know, that we have on the bill from you know, well, Bryson been around for a minute, but um, but you know, I think there's there's, there's some artists, be it hip hop or R&B or you know, Afro beats that that actually make good timeless music. So I think the demise of a lot of festivals out there is they just go for what's hot right now. You know what I'm saying? So, but if everybody's booking what's hot right now, why I gotta go to that festival? I can just miss your festival and just go over here and see the same damn lineup. Right. You know, so we try to do a, a different kind of job of curating our lineup so it is generational, right? So you can't see Kodak Black and then turn around and be like, oh shit, that's Janet Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Where they do that at? You know? So that's, that, that's, that's kind of our, our model. Yeah. yeah. 
I bet you can't get Kirk Franklin and Plies on the stage. At the same. I bet you can't. We actually tried. We had Kirk before. Uh, but yeah, but they are, there's, yeah, there's rumors that they are the same person, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah, Kirk, Kirk killed it though. I know. Kirk killed it, you know. You know Sometimes the music be getting too, it be oh, getting him, oh. uh, he be getting too hype off the music. You know what I'm saying? And people that never Cause he realize. be having to snatch the mic from himself. He be about to cut. <laughs> Y'all think I'm playing in this month? <laughs> oh, <laughs> woo! Hey, boy. <laughs> hey. Hey. Almost got me. Hey, run that back. <laughs> Melodies from heaven. These, 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 Nick, I mean, these. Uh, I'm old. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, he killed it, though, man. He killed it. So, you know, you going from taking shots of tequila and smoking whatever you're smoking to turn around and get get holy and sanctified. With, with yeah, because you can still be yeah. holy and be high, too. That's right. You can. Don't never think that you can't. You're right. The same people you see in church, you seen in the club the night before. Right. That's right. Because you know, that's just how the shit be sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I think they should, that's the way the club should close. On a good gospel song. <laughs> All right, last call. Never. <laughs> <laughs> The whole thing too, like just play the whole song out. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's hard though. But look, man, I wish you much love and success I on all your it. future endeavors. We appreciate you stopping through the black market. Make sure you got all my info, cause I'm gonna need my section, cause I'm gonna need to go back and forth. I need to go to the stage and on the other side over there on the little hill by the grass where the grill and shit gonna be. Somewhere we need a tent and a, all right, yeah, because we you know we yeah. tailgate like white people now, yeah. I mean, it's Atlanta, you know yeah, what I'm hell yeah. yeah. And, and white Atlanta people have been showing us now we done took it to the next level, next level, bro. hell yeah, because you know they usually show up at five in the morning. The Black one? people tailgating, yeah. we pulling up Saturday night, there you go, You're right? The game ain't till Sunday at eight o'clock, we already parked at seven. 72 inch screen, all and, that, all of it. Lobster Charging tails. up power wheels and shit right. ain't got nothing to do with the game. <laughs> got, got we we riding all the way up and down uh, over there by the stadium in golf carts and shit. We ain't parking attendance. We just riding around <laughs> fucking with people, taking pictures and shit, man. No tickets at the game. No ticket. <laughs> Ticket's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting right by the concession stand. Ain't right. <laughs> terrible. Sitting up there hiding in the field goal net. When I mean, you can see over the net, yeah, you two have. Uh, you even know who playing at this point. But look, I got to ring this bell and let them know. The black market is open. Hey!